watching Love & Hip Hop Miami, check yourself. Season two. You'll be watching us watch the show. For the very first time. You'll be getting our natural and honest reactions. We're watching it with you. The scene you're about to see is a bunch of my friends trying to tell me that I need to drop the bullshit with Bobby Lights. I ain't with it. Man, I think Kayana like you, man. He don't. It was a good vibe. <laughs> he was trying to take it to the mother. Whoa! <laughs> he was definitely trying to take we it to the mom. We were just having a good time. Oh. I was supporting his music. You were throwing it back, too. I didn't even know you had moves like that. You would know. How would you know that? I don't know. She just touched me. Oh, you're she my just grabbed all up on me. Everyone, this is taken. This is my friend's property right here. You know. This is Liz's property. Liz, my property. What's up? Hey. Hey. hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, hey. God damn chaotic, boy. You better watch uh, your daughter. I hey. think you like Shay. No. Yeah. What? That was a little vibe. I'm supporting an artist in Miami. You was all on the booty. <laughs> I was supposed to have a tip pull up, right? Where tip at? She pull up because him and Bobby wrecked her performance. Right, 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 right. I ain't wrecked nobody performance. That's that floozy, woozy, woozy. She ain't pull up because of me. She ain't pull up because she ain't want to pull up, okay? No one influences Tip. What happened? Everybody was lit. <laughs> and then so Bobby just happened to be a little bit more lit than everybody else. A little bit more lit than everybody yeah. else. So, you know, he just started kind of doing a little bit too much. So I like pushed him back. I'm like, yo, Bobby. I haven't talked to Bobby in a minute, but I do know you two are very, very close. And it's bull just to let your friendship fall apart for some silly ass reason. I'm not saying that he's a bad up person. I just think he enjoys that mess up and I can't have it in my circle. I may enjoy some of the messiness and the drama, but Prince, stop fronting my cause you just as dramatic and messy as everybody else. Pipe down. Why can't you have a conversation to solve the issue? Did you feel like oh, the no. friendship is I worth don't. it? I don't. So you don't feel like yeah. the friendship no, is worth not it? Not anymore. That's no, bull There's your side, his side, and then the truth. I just want to talk to him about what happened. Let's move forward from this. This scene was about me. I don't give a The next thing you're about to see me and Jojo trying to get down to the bottom of who's messy or not. And it ain't me this time. Hey. What's up? Thanks for coming. Yep. The reason I invited you here today is because the last time we seen each other, it wasn't good. I feel that it was all because of the whole Prince situation. I mean, I'm not happy with the way that went about. Like, I'm not happy that I put my hands on Prince. You know, I'm not proud of that. It ain't really about you putting your hands on Prince. You up my whole rehearsal, okay? I'm still stuck on the fact that my rehearsal was cut short and now I have to pay for all that time wasted. So Prince hates my guts right now. What happened? The other day at G5, here comes Prince up the vibe. Instead of us partying and throwing ones on the strippers, he's in the corner having a full blown conversation with some random thought. <laughs> I can't even lie. That may or may have not been a thought, but in old good Prince fashion, he's always off somewhere in the corner being some Mac Daddy. I guess he got offended with the way that I spoke to him. And before you know it, we going at it as a tussle. Security from the club is there breaking us up. It was like one of the worst days I've ever had at a strip club, period. I kind of regret speaking on it because people go through their own I definitely think you're the reason why it even, the can of worms even opened up for me to question Prince. She looking a little confused right now, like she don't know what I'm talking about. It's your fault, Jojo. It's your fault. It's all your fault. I was just trying to be a good friend and tell you what's up. I mean, yeah, I guess you can call that being a good friend, but what do you expect? from this situation, you think I'm just gonna take your word and not go question Prince or find out for myself? Honestly, Bobby, I'm gonna like keep it all the way real. Moving forward, like I don't wanna get involved. Like this whole beef, what you and Amada have, cause I'm not being messy, bro. I'm hoping to God right now, you not being messy, Miss Girl. Because you sat here and you told me all these problems you had with Miss Amada the hater. And all of a sudden now, it seems like you're trying to backpedal. No, I need you to keep the same energy, KTSE. I want you to keep it real with me about Amada. I mean, I feel but it's, like... it's not its not no secret. Like, she has openly told me, like, yo, I don't think you should f with Bobby. Bobby's f messy. Like, you can't trust him. She's like, messy. You know what Amada, I mean? Amada, you're f messy. Amada's the definition of messy. But because she's so glitzed up and glamorized, she got the Latin flavor, everyone thinks she's just part of her aesthetic and that she's just this extra spicy tamale. No, you're messy. Amada is a f 
evil person and soon the world is going to find out. To be honest with you, now is my time to give you some word of advice. You need to be careful with Amada. You have been taking a lot of heat for Amada lately. You need to be careful with Miss Amada La Hater. It's blatant. It's right in front of our eyes. If you haven't seen it yet, Miss Jojo, I'ma help you realize it, okay? And aren't you tired of that And you need to remember where the you came from and the fact that you have your own coins and she's never had that. And guess what? A like that would do anything to be around that. She's proven it. Damn, I went in just now. I just went in like, oh my God. I didn't mean to go in, I'm sorry. But at the same time, it's the truth. And it, the truth sometimes hurts. I need her to know how I really feel about her from my mouth. And I also feel that you should let her know how you feel too. We all mother messy, all right? It's good to be messy sometimes. What's up guys, it's your boy, Miami Royalty. Prince, uh, if you'd like to see more of me, subscribe, hit the inbox, hit my inbox. I'm always ready and available. Gots to go.